as a Mormon, hell was um, a place of darkness and despair. Um, for, for the sons of perdition, hell was a place uh, of being cast out of the presence of God, of darkness and despair. And for in a looser sense, hell was any part of heaven that people would not be able to progress throughout all eternity because they would be stopped. Heaven as a loose term was a place that everybody would go to, um, except for sons of perdition. But more specifically, what I wanted to achieve in heaven would have been the highest degree of the highest kingdom of the celestial kingdom, which um, required a stricter uh, obedience to the laws and commandments and the ordinances um, and saving ordinances to be able to make it to the, to the highest. And it's a place where I would be able to progress as a god throughout eternity. And I had a low view of God ultimately. So the idea of being with him forever wasn't all that appealing to me. I mocked the idea of being with God for all time. Hell is the place where God's wrath is poured out on those who haven't been made right with him. It's a place reserved for despair and destruction and misery for all those who curse God and reject him. If God didn't send people to hell, um, he wouldn't be loving. He must judge sin and he must give it the strictest and harshest and most accurate judgment that is due sin. And sin against the holy God carries an eternal consequence because he is holy. Heaven is the place where God himself dwells. It is the throne of the holy God. It is where he sits and where he rules and reigns. And um, it's where I will be worshiping God with my brothers and sisters throughout time and eternity. Now knowing the God of the Bible, I want to spend eternity with him. He's all knowing, he's all wise, he's all loving. He is perfect in everything that he does. Um, all his ways are pure. They're past my understanding. They're past my finding out. The greatest riddle can't compare to the wisdom and how unsearchable are the depths and the wisdom of God. As a Christian, there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. I don't have to fear judgment and I don't fear judgment because I will stand before God, not on my own righteousness, but on the righteousness of Christ.